What's going on, everybody? Jonathan94 here. Welcome back to another episode of Ben Bills. Today, we are going to be looking at another kit unboxing. This is the KA3B Sky Warrior. This is the uh, Trumpeteer kit. It's 148 scale. So I thought we'd go ahead and open it up. Let's slice this bad boy open. I have not looked inside this kit yet, so I have no idea how it's going to look. Let's check this out. See what we are looking at. All right, plastic wrap is off. Let's take a look at the box itself. So this is a tanker version of the A3 Sky Warrior. And Sky Warrior was originally a uh, nuclear-capable naval bomber. We have a load of parts in here. Just pockets and compartments and all sorts of things. First off, um, yeah, this is a pretty big model. <laughs> so let's look at what we got in here. Pull things out one by one and see what we have. So first of all, look what is this here? It's like parts of the engine for the nacelles, possibly. There's one. Now right, here's the uh, refueling, uh, I guess, tub that hangs down below the bomb bay. The other half of it. Interesting. A lot of little parts and pieces. Must be for the bomb bay area here. Looks like there's some coiled up tubing here. Interesting. That aside. Next, I'm not sure what this is. Huh. Maybe the interior for the Bombay? Possibly? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, now we're getting the wings here. Now, this is an aircraft that did have foldable wings. So, again, this is an option much like the Hobby Boss, a 148 scale uh, demon. This does have an option for folding wings. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily fold them, but yeah, I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. So there is one part of the wing anyway. Hmm. It's like the rear tail, possibly. I'm not sure what this is right here. It looks like, oh, maybe it is a rear tail. Maybe it's the end of the wings. I don't know. Here's the tail cone. Kind of this wedge blade style tail cone. The nose cone right here. That's cool. Uh, oh, you know what this is? This is for the Electronics Warfare aircraft, which would, I guess, be the EA-3B. So that's interesting. So it actually looks like you could build an EA-3B or a KA-3B or, I guess, an EKA-3B that even existed. I'm pretty sure they had an Electronic Warfare package with the mid-air refueling. So it looks like you could actually do that if need be. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, so we have here the fuselage for the KA-3B. So the tail cone will be about there, and the nose cone will be about there. So this is a pretty significantly large aircraft, maybe about like that long, maybe? Wow, nice. This was actually one of the bigger aircraft to operate off of an uh, aircraft carrier back in the day. So got two halves of the fuselage there. Interesting. Okay. Notice the rear tail is cut. So that must mean we might have to... Maybe it folds. Because I know the rear tail folded on these to go ahead and pack into storage on the carrier decks. So maybe that's what that's for. Alright, so we got here. Ooh, parts and pieces. I can't even see what's in here. I don't know. It's something. What is that? Can't tell. But looks like we've got some more bulkheads, sidewalls. I'm not sure exactly what's in there. It looks like turbine faces or something. I'm not sure. Part trees just keep coming. I think it's a rester hook here. Hmm. Flaps or possibly ailerons of some sort. Bulkheads again, probably for the uh, cockpit area. Wow. And still more. Look at this. Hmm, some sort of fairing. I don't know what this is for here. Flip it over. Another bulkhead. A lot of little bits and pieces here. I'm not sure what these are. Oh, I think these are for the front slats. Because this aircraft was equipped with front slats. So that might be what those are for. Interesting. 
Oh, more. Look at this, more. Ah, these have got to be some form of flap or possibly ailerons or something. This is a large chunk of plastic right here. So that's all it is, too. Interesting. And the last plastic sprue we have here looks like uh, more wing. It looks like this is the outer part of the wing, possibly. Maybe it's the inner part of the wing. Hmm, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know how the kit kind of laid out. So we'll know more once we get in the instructions, definitely. Wow. Now, we have forgotten our little side compartment here. Let's see what's in the side compartment. So a whole host of stuff. Let's just pull it all out at one time. Whoa, what we got here? Wow. So we got photo etch. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like it's interior or something. Probably for the Bombay, I'd imagine. Not sure what this is for. Probably more Bombay stuff. Another bit of photo etch. Again, same material as that stuff it looks like. Clear parts. We have a clear instrument panel. It's a little unusual. I haven't seen that in a while. It looks like this got ripped open a little bit. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, these are the seats, it looks like, for the pilot. Navigator and the radio operator. I think this had a crew of three, if I'm not mistaken. And in here, this must be the canopy. You can kind of see it in there, but it's nice and covered and protected, so we'll leave that be. And here's some more seats. Wow, that is a heck of a kit. There are a lot of trees here. And last but not least, wheels. Tires, at least. Hmm, they're rubber. I don't necessarily like that. If any of you out there have built this kit, I'd be curious to know how these operate. What do you guys think of the rubber wheels? I don't personally like them too much, but nonetheless, there you go. Wow. Let's put all of this back here into the little side compartment, and let's go ahead and open up the decals and the instruction manual and see what we have here. All right, so what do we got here? So many numbers. Wow. This is sealed here, but you can kind of see. We've got the NG code here that goes up on the tail. There's the American stars and bars, some numbers here, carrier group, and all of the numbers here. So we can make any any aircraft, I suppose, within this unit. More numbers, different sizes this time. Navy. Cool. Nothing there. What we got here? A couple of things. Ha! Ah, here's our painting guide. And we have a little bit of a... Uh, Modeling advertisement for January 2014 to March 2014 by a trumpeteer. Interesting. Cool. MiG-23. Never built one of those. Always wanted to. Got some howitzers here. A flak, I guess. Wow, T-80. Nice. Russian tanks are always so cool looking. I wish I could build tanks better than I can. So that's kind of interesting. And, of course, our color guide is going to be ghost gray on top. It's going to be white on the bottom. This is unusual. This is a very large mid-air refueling probe here. I don't know if this is correct. It looks like that would not possibly fit in there. Well, why is it out? I wonder why it would be in the outward position. Because if it was on the deck, it would probably be stowed up inside of that little bathtub-looking thing. That's curious. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this and see what we got. Total page count 36. My, that's, um, wow. Okay, 36th page instruction manual. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we have. So first two pages, looks like parts breakdown. Part layout, sprue layout, nothing too fancy there. Ooh, wow, look at this. So we get into the cockpit, of course. We've got the sidewalls, consoles, seats, chairs, all sorts of things in here. We have a lot of photo etch parts, looks like. P-49, P-17. Nice, nice. Looks like more stuff for the wheel well here, the front wheel well. Yeah, looks like you got some landing gear here. Photo etch even the landing gears, wow. A lot of photo etch here. Not so sure what this is. It must be for the front nose. I wonder if this is for the front. Yeah, the radar. Okay, so this is in the front nose. I don't think we'll be displaying that. I don't plan on it anyway. Flip it over. See what else we have here. 
Wow, look at this. What is all of this? I wonder if this is for the electronics warfare package that this aircraft could also carry. Because why would you have all of these people sitting in here for a mid-air refueling tanker? I wonder. Do a little more research on this and see what exactly this is all for. Yeah, it plugs into the bomb bay, though. This is the, looks like mid-air refueling hose and reel. Yeah, look at this. It's actually, it's in the this, uh, deployed position. Why would they have that? If I want to build this on the carrier deck, I don't think I would have this open and out. It would be stowed up inside the actual uh, mid-air refueling tub area. So that actually might need to be scratch built to have go ahead and fit it up in there. Because I would imagine before it's just an open hole. So we have to make something to get it up in there. That's going to be challenging. Plus, this is way too big for this aircraft. It doesn't look right. It looks too big. All right, flip on over, see what else we got. Ah, okay, so here we start getting, looks like, the main gears. Installation for the main gear. Installation for the uh, two gears there. Nose gear. Okay. One thing I do know about this kit is that the, the, the main gears, right here, as you can see there, are actually slightly incorrect. There should be an open uh, open spot. I think it's somewhere right in here. This should be all open, and there should be um, some sort of a uh, an actuator that runs from landing gear to landing gear through that fuselage, through that area. So that might have to be scratch built. I'm not sure how to do it, but we'll look at some reference photos and see what we can do on that. I don't have any books for the Sky Warrior either. So this is going to be mostly online references, I have a feeling. Go ahead and flip it open, see what else we got here. Okay, so you got the mid-air refueling probe for the front of the Sky Warrior. There's the radar dish and the nose. Hmm, that yeah, canopy. Okay, it looks like here you can build either in the uh, folded position or in the vertical position for the rear tail. And then, of course, you have your knife blade tail on the back of that. It's air brake openings here, if anyone's wondering. So it looks like you can actually display the bomb bay open. I wonder if you can get away with actually closing it up and fairing it over. And look at that long hose going through here that plugs into the reel, I suppose. See, that might be kind of cool to do, just to actually have some detail work in there, but I don't know how accurate that is. I'm not sure. This boarding ladder should probably be in the extended position, seeing as a lot of pictures you see of Sky Warriors have that boarding um, hatch open. Like when they're catapulting off of a carrier, usually that seems to be open for some odd reason. Maybe for ease of uh, escape, possibly. So I might have a little more research on that as well. And the bomb bay, I don't know if I want that open. I don't know if the mid-air refueling versions were catapulted off of carriers with that bomb bay open. I know for a fact that the bomber versions of these, I believe, had the bomb bay door open and that hatch right here open before they were catapulted off the front of the carrier. Um, probably for safety purposes, but I'm assuming that they have kept this in the open position for that reason. But I don't know if the tanker would have necessarily had that. So, again, more research is needed there. To be honest, if I can close this up, I'd rather close it up and eliminate all of that in there. Because I don't see a reason to have it in there. Of course, that means that I have photo etch pieces that are wasted, but that doesn't mean that I can't use those in other builds. You, know, you never know. You'd be surprised. Hold on to your sprues and hold on to your excess parts. You never know when they might come in handy. Okay, we get to the wings here. Simple enough. These are actually be really long wings. I think this is the yeah, this is the first half of the wing there. And you have all these parts and clips and pieces for the, I guess, folded edge. Yep, there are the wing flats, the front flats. They're going to be there. So those are the parts for that. Okay, good to know. Oh, that's that's what that's for. That's for the uh, engine nacelles. Because this actually did hold, originally I believe it was for the Westinghouse J40 engine. Um, that was the same engine used in the F3H Demon which, of course, we all know didn't work out very well, and they actually changed out the engine. But I think these engines were actually originally designed to be the J40s, but because the J40s sucked so badly, they swapped them out, I think, for Pratt & Whitney. I think that's how it goes. Again, I don't know much about this aircraft other than I really like it, and I actually have gotten a chance to see one of these in real life uh, when I went down to San Diego, California, 
and toward the midway, they had one of these guys out on the flight deck, the USS Midway. Pretty cool, big airplane. Can't believe these things operate off aircraft carriers. All right, so we've got here. Oh, these are the folding wing parts. So this is actually a pretty big wingspan. A lot of photo etch parts for the folding wings. That's going to be difficult. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? All right, got a flap here, another flap there. Pylons already on the wings. Wings going in the fuselage. That's cool. Okay, there's the rudder, the tail, for folded or for vertical. Nothing too crazy there. Attaching the wings on in the fully extended position. And I'm assuming the next page will be in the folded position. Ah, folded position. Okay, so yeah, we could have the angled sideways here for the vertical stabilizer and folded in for the wing tips. And then our engines and our standalone engine nacelles. Interesting. So it actually does have a bit of detail. It does have a bit of detail shown here for the turbine, for the engines themselves. I guess you could remove those panels, I guess, if you wanted to. I don't, so I'll probably close them all up anyway. And then little odds and ends like gear bay doors with PE fret top there. Also, air brake doors open. I don't know if we want to have them open or closed. We'll have to see how that works. And then, of course, the nacelles going on to the wings. Wow, guys. <laughs> Pretty impressive model kit, I have to say. Um, I have always been a fan of 1950s and 60s jets. And this is one of the largest aircraft ever to serve in active service off an aircraft carrier. Another aircraft of the same era that I've always liked is the uh, Vigilante. And I do have a kit of the Vigilante also by Trumpeteer, though I have not built it. I do have one, so that might be an interesting build to do one day too. But I always liked these kind of Cold War era jet fighters, jet bombers. So it looks like our color markings here are for VAQ-132 Scorpions off of the USS America. I think my Vigilante is off the USS America, too. I think it's got decal options for the USS America. So that's it, guys. That is the breakdown for KA-3B Sky Warrior. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, brief look at it. i got to tell you, it's one of these aircraft that I've wanted to build for a long time. And finally, someone had the guts to put out a kit for it. And this is going to be a big aircraft. Awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks you so much for joining me. If you'd like to watch a build of this, um, I was considering doing a build. I don't know if I will, but I was considering it. Uh, let me know. If not, I'm probably going to put it into the stash for a while, just because I don't have a lot of room in my display case. So I need to go through some stuff there and figure out where to put something that's this big. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching. We'll see you back here next time on Ben Build.